I have here an actual human brain, which has been carefully preserved, in what we call plastinated. And um, you can see these beautiful folds on the outside here. Um, and this is a normal brain. So it looks good. It looks full. All the folds are full. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully my brain's just like that. Well, when you look at a person who's had advanced Alzheimer's disease, and this is a specimen here of a person who died at the age of 65 with a six year history of Alzheimer's. And when you look at these folds, you see they're quite, they've been, they're atrophied, they've got smaller, the brain cells are lost. And there's quite a large gap between one fold and the next, whereas in the normal brain, you see, there is no gap. And so when you lose brain cells, it's from the, the region of the cortex here that you lose the brain cells. Those are the areas which are affected with dementia. Then those cells are lost for all time. So getting in early, trying to stop those cells dying at the early stages of the disease is the best. Yeah. So the different folds you see, you've got the area for movement here, you've got the area for sensation, you've got the area for speech, you've got the area up the front here for personality, for thinking and planning. And then behind here, you've got the area for listening, you've got the area for reading and writing out the side here and so on. And this is your memory area at the bottom here in the temporal lobe. So where the brain cells die, you start to lose those particular functions. Typically in dementia, you lose brain cells from the front of the brain here, which affects your behavior, your personality, your mood, and down here in the temporal lobe, you start to lose your memory. And this is really the area which is first affected. And then just above that is the area where you actually, where you consciously hear speak, speech. So often loss of speech goes with dementia memory loss of course is one of the earliest changes changes in a person's behavior their pattern their reasoning their cognition is very much in this frontal area here so this is the areas these are the areas in the front and the temporal lobe and the memory part and the hippocampus which is affected very first and then it can spread to involve other areas so that's when you start losing other additional functions.